Welcome back guys, welcome back to another part of EU4 Let's Play Serbia. So, in the last part, nothing interesting happened, sadly. We're just waiting for something something to happen. Oh, France at war. Burgundy. Oh, okay, that's, that's interesting. France and Provence. Yeah, interesting. Maybe Burgundy is going to collapse and... Um, you know, France is gonna blob up even more. Denmark is attacking Sweden and England. Actually, Sweden declare independence, more like it. So, yeah. Can I actually declare war? No. Can there's espionage? Nope. Let's probably not work. Why not? Seal maps, justify trade conflict. So discontent. I don't know, we might actually support rebels. We'll see. We're never gonna attack up. <laughs> never. up please yes no okay Hungary is gonna pound Bavaria almonds yeah at least they like us I mean somewhat we should have yeah there we go let's build a church in Serbia yeah oh plus 16 okay that's that's pretty nice Rise or a pretender. Oh my god, and army maintenance, god damn it. Stability drop Regency. Eh. Minus one stability, etc. etc. Okay, so we're just gonna wait for <laughs> our mor morale to actually take up. I actually should mothball this to save money. It's a good thing they're actually gonna spawn in Albania because it's a mountainous region. Oh, what's this? Peasants' war. Ah. Well, that sucks. Yeah, this really does suck. A lot. Clergy, 50, 20 loyalty, 15, nope. So, the almonds aren't gonna break us, it's probably gonna be the, <laughs> the rebels. Oh, lovely. So, the rebels should spawn in the next month, or maybe in two months months yeah let's full morale nope not yet yeah zero one two nope If we lose, I'm gonna cry. There we go. Okay, add something, we're losing money. At this rate, we're gonna lose everything. At least we might actually get some bit more money because we're going to change the religion of this to orthodox, maybe. Yay. Oh, 
Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, more inflation. 4.24 inflation. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. I really don't like this new monarch. Ooh, four five five. Okay. And he's a diplomat. That's a pretty good leader. A really good one. We're gonna have a peasants war and we're fucked basically. Yeah. This is why I said Serbia's hard nation play once you initially initially blob up a little bit and when I say blob up I mean conquer Bosnia Albania and maybe vassalize some Italian state there's nothing much to do you just sit and wait and maybe maybe you can actually attack Venice, uh, Venice but I don't know that's uh, pretty unlikely especially now since they warned us I really like the money, but nope. Boost. <laughs> Except peace. Okay, hundred and eighty ducats. No marriage. Why don't you send us a royal marriage? Well, marriage, yeah. So all our royal marriages went to shit. Ain't that lovely? Hmm. <laughs> Uh, I'll change the religion. Why not? Missionary maintenance. Eh, it's not that bad. Boostability. There we go. Accept peace. Why is it? Yeah. Fifty thousand. 37,000 manpower. Yes, please. Oh, minus 5. Eh, fuck it. We'll lose that either way, I guess. <coughs> yeah, I'm pretty bored now. Oh, what's this? I actually thought for a second that actually the Papal States were in a war with somebody. Oh, okay, Burgundy is really kicking France's ass. Okay. Not good, France. Not good. At least we can listen to some Sabaton. That's something. Pretty good band. Too bad I didn't go to their concert last year. Actually, it isn't last year. I think it was this year. Anyways, um, yeah. Fun, fun, fun game. I'm actually curious who started the war. Relations, current wars. There you go. French conquest of Wow France. <laughs> you went full retard man. You seriously went full retard. 
Uh, free safe state, okay. Hmm. We're basically just waiting for some big wars so we can actually intervene and maybe get some stuff from somebody. But uh, how things are going, that's pretty unlikely. Yep. Nothing to do here. Huh. We can maybe build up a navy, but I don't see the sense of it. We're not gonna make some money out of it. So, I don't know. It kind of sucks that actually we couldn't get an alliance with Poland this game. If we had, then, and of course if they actually formed a personal union with Lithuania, Jesus Christ, then maybe we could have done something uh, regards to the almonds. Maybe. What's this number of states? Yeah, okay, 15. 75! Plus 2.5 each month. New monarch, of course. Let me guess, he's either gonna attack us or QQ. Or, you know, start. Claiming cores and come on. Hmm. I really hate to play countries where you actually need to wait for something to happen instead of you actually doing something. Like literally, I I have no idea what to do now. Instead, instead of waiting, but you know. Okay, military, thank you. Five? Really? Wow, okay. Let's attack four and you're all five. I don't remember, um, as... If you play on very hard difficulty, if the AI has advantages regards to tech. <sighs> we might actually start entering Urbino, but... Eh! Oh... Adjacent. Is Rubino adjacent? Yes, it is. Okay, finally some action. Thank God. If we're lucky, the almonds will lose. No idea how, but maybe. Advancement of the nobility. Okay. I don't think they're gonna lose 55, 28. Yeah. GG.
Nine and five. Woohoo. Okay, well, things are gonna be a little bit interesting at least. That's something. We're probably gonna lose the game right now. But yeah, we'll see. Oh. <laughs> we got general, which we don't have. Uh, grand generalship. Currently 61, 80. I don't remember. I think if an estate has more than 80 influence, then there's actually a living disaster. Why? Don't get. So having a more. And power now. I mean, oh, so it doesn't come if you actually okay. Peasants war, yay! Okay, so we lost. Wow, minus three stability. Okay, that's pre, pre horrific. So the peasants war. The peasantry has for some time demanded economic, religious, and political amendments. Their dissatisfaction has grown to such an extent that violent revolts are becoming a common day practice. Even though there is no central leadership and they lack proper ar armament, the peasants have still managed to pose a challenge to the, to the uh, authority. Wow, I, I cannot even speak today. Several important buildings, both religious and other, have been burned and plundered as a protest. Lose 6 stability. Wow. Lose 10 prestige, 12 presence in the niche. Dark times are ahead of us. Old recall. Indeed they are. Well, at least we have an advantage regards to the army. Come on, just, just help us out. Come on, man. Fuck you. <laughs> wow. Okay, 19, 14. They're, they're just watching. They, they seriously don't give a fuck. It's like burn. Don't care. The peasants war. Jesus. So, a uh, few rebels control prones and one stability. This one. Uh, I hate this. It's gonna drain my admin points so hard. Well, as far as um, crisis go, this isn't. Wow, come on, please, Jesus. <sighs> Cancel mission because we're not gonna get fifty prestige. National unrest. Uh, money, 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 money. Zero five three. Wow. Okay. Okay. That's a really good air. Okay. Five six two. And he's how old? Four. Okay. So basically, this guy is the hope for the future. If we can actually survive that long sea and rain. If he actually does rain, um, then we might, um, and might is a key word, do something. I don't know if I can actually, no, okay. Actually, screw you. Good thing he has a siege modifier, and yeah. So, that's the Peasants' War. We're in deep doo doo this game we're in deep shit but as always thanks for watching and if you like this series and this video especially please comment subscribe like do whatever the fuck you want see you in the next video